Hello and welcome back. I'm Katie T from Katie T's Home and I'm so happy you're here. Um, so real quick, hit that subscribe button. I'm new to YouTube and trying to build my channel and I would love it if you would subscribe and follow for more. But um, moving on, so do you have a metal filing cabinet that just doesn't look nice? Like it looks kind of meh and you really wanna do something with it. You don't wanna get rid of it because it is practical and nice to have, but it really is not doing your home office any justice. Well, good news for you. If you are in that boat and struggling with that, I have a tutorial or DIY um, on how I updated my metal filing cabinet and I'm so excited to share it with you. So yeah, hit that subscribe button and let's jump right in. Okay, so in full disclosure, I am not able to actually show you the process of recreating this uh, metal filing cabinet and Part of the reason is because I did this project a couple years ago and I didn't realize at the time that I would be posting it to YouTube. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is because it is one of the more popular blog posts and I figured that this is the kind of content that people want to see and get inspired by. And thankfully it is easy enough for me to just walk you through verbally. So that is what I'm going to do. So to begin, you need to keep in mind that your metal filing cabinet needs to have like a flat um, like drawer, like, like handle. Um, mine was indented, so that's fine. Like that's what you're looking for. If your handle comes out, see if you can unattach it because to do this the right way, you really do need it to be flat. Um, so that's the first thing that I want to get out of the way. Um, the second thing is that I really just spray painted it and then I took the vinyl flooring and I attached it on. Now, keep in mind, I made so many mistakes in the process of doing this. So make sure you definitely keep watching because I will talk about those mistakes, but it really is just that simple. like you know, wash, do like a really thorough job of washing your metal filing cabinet. Um, I use Dawn soap and like a scrub brush and I wasn't afraid to scratch it because it, I kind of wanted that, uh, I don't know if I'd call it retro, but like that rustic look. Um, so I did that for the outside and not only that, but if you want things to stick, like the adhesive part of the vinyl um, floor planking, you really wanna make sure that it's clean because it will not stick if it has any type of oils on it. Um, so yeah, make sure you wash it well. And the other thing is you may need glue. And this is kind of moving on into the mistake that I made um, that you should not do. Um, so before I decided to do the vinyl floor planking, I had the vinyl wrap, like the thin um, contact paper, and it also had like a wood pattern and I was excited to use it. And don't do that, like just don't. Um, I struggled so hard getting it to wrap and stay stuck around the edges of like where the, um, filing cabinet comes out and it just kept coming up. So I was trying like everything. I had clamps down, like it was, it was a nightmare and it was a mess. And the thing that was so unfortunate about it was finally I got it looking good and I got it in a place that I liked. And then I let the project sit for a little bit because I was doing it over the winter time and it was cold outside and didn't feel like working on it. And the vinyl ended up getting a ton of bubbles in it from the handle because there was that void there and it just looked so bad and I was so defeated. So do not do the contact paper. Trust me, like it, it's not worth it. So that's when I was like, hey, like I have this uh, leftover flooring from a project that I never ended up happening. Like, let me see if I can do that. So admittedly, I did just put the, um, 
like vinyl flooring right over that and it stuck great. I'm not sure if you will need to use the like glue, additional glue to really make sure that it sticks. So um, like just make sure you have it on hand. Um, and then the other thing to note and keep in mind with that being said, because the um, vinyl floor planking, it's just flat. So when you do open up the drawer, the edges might not be pristine. You know, it's the give and take, I guess you could say for me, it wasn't really a big deal because I'm like, I only want it to look nice when it's sitting. Like at, once I open it, it's not a big deal. Um, but if that bothers you, I guess it's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. Super simple, super easy. Oh, and actually I forgot one thing. Um, Another thing to keep in mind, when you are putting on the handles, make sure that you're drilling um, where there's no backing. Yeah, again, I learned that the hard way. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna make it center and there was some backing in the drawer and it was really thick and it was not gonna work. So yeah, make sure that you are drilling in an area that it's thinner metal and the drill can go through. Um, I'm sure there's specific bits too, or there are specific bits to go through metal. Um, make sure that you have that as well, but yeah. So pretty simple process. Um, I'm so happy I did it and it's been holding up, like I said, for like a couple years now. So definitely well worth the time and energy. And honestly, it was a pretty simple um, DIY. Like I've done plenty of DOIs in my time and this one was, besides the mistakes, but that's more on me just winging it. Like if you follow my instructions, like it will go by smoothly, I promise. Um, but yeah, that's it. So uh, hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye.